Let me show you the best way to load your dishwasher so it cleans better. Whenever I ask, should you or should you not rinse your dishes before you put them in your dishwasher, it seems to spark quite the debate and it's a hot topic. Now for me, I don't rinse my dishes. The reason being is detergents are designed with enzymes to grab onto the remaining food particles that are on the plates so they can clean better. Plus, it saves water and it just saves me time not having to do an extra step, so I don't rinse them. I simply just scrape off all the big pieces from the plates and throw them in the machine. So for the top rack, when you're loading things like coffee cups or cups, you wanna make sure that they're never flat like this, but rather in this little groove there at a nice angle. This will allow the water to completely run off so you don't have that annoying pool up here and it'll dry nice and quick. So fun fact, these little guys are called tines. I just learned that recently, but another thing with loading cups is you never wanna put them over the tines like so. It can cause them to kind of jump around a little bit. So instead, just make sure they're always fastened in between. Always put your plastic items on the top rack as well. The reason being is the bottom rack is very close to the heating element down there, and obviously plastic always has a potential to melt. So putting them up here will make sure they're nice and safe. You can also throw a few cooking utensils on the top rack along the side here. Just make sure they're in a place where water can reach them. Now the other thing I always like to mention is never ever put wood utensils in your dishwasher. They have a potential of swelling, breaking, and just damaging the pieces completely. Now if you're like me and like to clean with Scrub Daddy or Scrub Mommy sponges, they're actually top rack dishwasher safe, so just throw it on there and this will keep your sponge nice, fresh, and clean. A cool feature that some dishwashers have on their top rack, and anytime I make a video about this, people are amazed, but you'll notice there's a little push button here, and this dishwasher allows me to adjust the height of this rack, so then I can fit larger items in here, maybe let's say a wine glass that has a larger stem. You can put this down and that way it fits and slides in nice and easy. Now, if your dishwasher doesn't have an adjustable top rack, sometimes they'll have the little stem grabbers as well. Just pop that in place so it doesn't rattle around and possibly break. Now, when it comes to loading the bottom rack here, this is the area we're obviously gonna put plates, bowls, and maybe some larger items like pots, pans, or even a baking sheet as long as they are dishwasher safe. Now, something to always keep in mind when you're loading those items is to make sure that the dirty side is always pointed towards the center. Now, the reason this is so important is it makes sure that the soap and water can reach all the cracks and crevices of the dishes. When it comes to loading up my utensil basket, if you have the separators like I do here, I like to make sure to put them facing up and I kind of group them by type. So the forks and the spoons all go together in a section. And then as for the knives, those are something that I always recommend point face down. I would hate to see you unload this and potentially hurt yourself. Now, if your basket does not have the separators and just large openings, rather than putting your forks and spoons facing up all together, I like to alternate them, making sure all the sides will get rinsed and they don't stick together. So now that everything is correctly loaded up, there's a few things I always check. Number one, on the bottom rack here, sometimes you can have some high items, but you wanna make sure that the jet can freely spin and is not going to get blocked by anything on the bottom rack. Number two is to check your dishwasher filter. You wanna make sure that it's not clogged or super dirty. This can really affect how well your dishwasher can clean. Now, if you want a full step-by-step -step guide of not only how to clean your dishwasher, but the filter too, check the link down in the description and watch my video. And number three, don't overload your dishwasher. You wanna make sure everything has adequate room so all the water and the soap can get to, again, all the cracks and crevices. And if you put too much stuff in there, you're just gonna to have to re-clean the dishes once it's done. Now, this might seem obvious, but I wanted to mention to always put your dishwasher pods in the dispenser tray here. I've seen a few hacks jumping around on TikTok and Instagram to throw the pod in the bottom of the machine, but when you put them in the actual dispenser, the soap is released at the proper time in the cleaning cycle. That way your dishes can get as clean as possible. When you just throw it on the bottom, unfortunately the soap is activated right away and it could potentially mean your dishes aren't gonna get as clean. So there you have it. Now you know the best way to load your dishwasher. Thanks so much to all the Clean Squad members over on the Patreon. If you wanna learn more about my Patreon, check the link down in the description below, and I'll see you on the next Clean.